Janine Pirro recently went on a radio show to talk about her latest book. Now the title of her book is Radicals, Resistance and Revenge, The Left's Plot to Remake America. And what Pirro does is consistently push this replacement conspiracy theory that many white people in America not many, but Trump supporting white people in America believe. And the mass shooter in El Paso, Texas actually put out a manifesto sharing this exact same point of view, right? Now on this radio show, she gets into it and she talks about why she thinks Democrats want to offer protections to immigrants. Take a look. Well, they hate Donald Trump. He's the one they want to get rid of because the people like you and me who put him into office, their plan and their plot to remake America is to bring in the illegals, change the the way the voting occurs in this country, give them licenses. They get to vote maybe once, maybe twice, maybe three times. Think about it. It is a plot to remake America, to replace American citizens with illegals who will vote for the Democrats. She sounds like she, you know what I would love for her to get uh, laryngitis and walk through some immigration and customs because she looks like she could be an immigrant. Well, and, let somebody, an immigrant. and somebody who would see her and not know who she is yeah. and then she would be able to experience because she really believes that when you see, I don't know what it is about Trump and his people and this foundation that they all used as orange, but they all need to stop. I'm, <laughs> I, they really have such a hard on for this immigration, but it reminds me of the, the last time immigration was a real big deal. I remember going to Arizona and we marched that they kept saying that Mexicans were bringing swine flu to America and it was mm-hmm. swine flu, swine flu so, until the election. And then you never heard about swine flu again, right? And now it's this, they're coming to get us. Everybody's gonna be black and brown and they're gonna take over. The illegals that, that they keep trying to normalize that term are gonna come and they're gonna vote over and over again. It's, it's so incredibly stupid. If you're undocumented, you do not have the ability to vote. No. Like we all, if you've ever voted, you know how it works. If you you've show up, jail. your name needs to be on the voter roll, right? If your name's not on the voter roll, they'll give you a provisional ballot. But if there's no indication that you're an American citizen, your vote doesn't count. And there is no trend, there's no evidence indicating that undocumented individuals are voting in our elections. It's not happening. Anytime there are cases of voter fraud, Ironically, it's someone on the right trying to do voter fraud. Yeah, so look, we're arguing. Uh, With crazy people and it makes yeah. no sense, I no, get no, it. No, no, but look, it's it's like we're going to a mental institution and walking in and having trying to have a legitimate debate, Yeah. right? We're like, hey, there was n- no evidence of undocumented immigrants uh, voting. And they're like, yes, there was, there was three million of them. I know it, I know it, they're around the corner. There's a plot to retake the country for the immigrants. Like, this is, that is what- straight jacket? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> that was, that's what this national dialogue has devolved into. So we have, what it's, is a debate about a thing that you made up that isn't remotely true? I don't know what the answer is though. Because look, if you have a lunatic saying crazy things, all right, fine. But she has a platform and her rhetoric, along with Donald Trump's rhetoric and the extreme right wing's rhetoric, inspires people to commit these mass shootings. I mean, that mass shooting was motivated by his anti-immigrant hate. Here, let me give you some more information. Hero's comments came less than a month after this gunman targeted Latinos in a mass shooting in El Paso, killing 22 people, citing a Hispanic invasion as his reasoning for the massacre. In his racist manifesto posted online, the suspected shooter claimed he was simply defending my country from cultural and ethnic replacement brought on by an invasion. So these Piro types, do encourage and incite the type of violence we're seeing. So it's not just about a debate. I know I'm debating with someone who has no common sense, but what is the answer? How do we combat this effectively? Well, these are the people who are always fighting for, fighting against political correctness and freedom of speech because they wanna be able to say these things. But what all I wanted to say was that there is a black woman in jail right now because she was voting and she they said she wasn't supposed to be voting and she's an American citizen and went and that was the penalty for that lady because they said she was an ex convict and she wasn't allowed to vote and she's back in jail. Mm-hmm. So to say that immigrants that come here that walk here from other countries, they walk 
Have you ever met somebody who walked to another country? No. I never met somebody who walked to another country with a baby strapped to their back. That that person walked to another country because they wanted to vote for the Democratic candidate while they're running from gang members that are uh, uh, mutilating them on YouTube. It's it's just so you gotta you at some point personal accountability has to be go into play and you have to inform yourself on what's really happening in the world instead of listening to these crazy crazy town people. Yeah, so I I have to say two last things here. One is she's a Lebanese American, and so um, this is a, another one of those people who are like no 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 uh, uh, white racist hold my beer I'll, I'll out racist you. So you'll see, I'm one of you, I'm one of you. I'm not one of the brown people, I'm one of you. Please take me into the house. Okay, I hear you, Janine, okay? So now understand where this ideology comes from. It comes from the Nazis. So the, And the reason why they chanted in, in Charlottesville, the Jews will not replace us, is because that's what the Nazis used to say. They used to say the Jews are trying to replace you. Tucker Carlson and Laura Ingram have both literally said on their program, the immigrants will not replace us. Now, here's Janine Pirro saying there's a plot by this minority to take over the country and replace you. It is literally Nazi propaganda, except back during the Nazis, it was the Jewish minority who had a plot to take over the country. And, and Hitler and the Nazis said, don't let the Jews replace you. And she went and she even got suspended by Fox News because she said, Oh, can Muslims even be loyal to our country? By definition, they believe in Sharia law and that's against the Constitution. So, and what did the Nazis say? The Jews cannot be loyal to Germany. That's why we've got to put them away. So, this is as deeply racist and bigoted as you could possibly be. And that's who Janine Pirro is. And if she wants to cry about it, she can go cry in a straitjacket that she belongs in. On the go? Don't worry, we got you covered. You can still listen to TYT at our new podcast network. Find us on Apple Podcasts, the Google Play Store, or at tyt.com slash podcast.